Right in the middle, following the disassociation of four commissioners led by the vice chair Juliana Cherera, from the election results became a point of argument at the Apex Court when senior counsel Paul Mwangi rose to argue his case on behalf of Martha Karua and Raila Odinga. Both courts were very categorical as to the fact that the constitutional mandate of a commission is borne by the commissioners. And in that case where a commission had attempted to reach a decision without commissioners, uh, the court annulled that decision and said that that decision had to be made by commissioners. In his submission, Mwangi said the requirement to declare the presidential election results does not give the IBC chair veto power to tally, verify or even reach a decision as to what he is to declare, accusing Chebukati of having acted as a supervisor of elections and making unilateral decisions. And our submission is that the requirement to declare does not give the chairman any power to tally, to verify, or even to reach a decision as to what he is going to declare. According to Mwangi, Chebukati committed an illegality by declaring the presidential results without the support of a majority of commissioners, hence making it unconstitutional. And in respect of the powers of a chairperson, again, the minor case all the way from the High Court to the Court of Appeal and to this court have made it clear that the chairperson is not the commission and that he has to act with the rest of the commission for him to deliver a proper constitutional decision. So that, that collegiate nature of the decision making in a commission is captured very well in Article 138.3c and in Section 39.1c of the Elections Act would make it very clear that it is for the Commission to tally and verify the results. On the issue of equality and who has the final say, Wangi submitted that all commissioners are equal and that the chair cannot treat any member as a subordinate. Mwangi further highlighted the question on who to believe in the two factions of the commission. Raising question on the conduct of the chair, Mwangi pointed out that Chebukati's relation with other commissioners is wanting and tainted all the way from 2017. That he bungled up the 2017 elections. Uh, we've caught, uh, captured in a, a, a petition that he has had four other commissioners resign on him previously. That's unilaterally printed ballots. He's unilaterally made decisions about use of registers and in our present in our uh, both affidavits and petition we have made a list of all the misconduct that he himself uh, has executed and Paul Mwangi called Ruto's pronunciation as president-elect an illegitimate transfer of power and asked the court not to grant it Brian Amuai look up TV Nairobi. Philip Murgor has cited major technological failures.